You know, I always say you play on the devil's playground. One day the devil is going to show up. You cannot play on the devil's playground. You may be having a good time. You may think you have a lot of friends and good people around you. You may even think that you are a good person, but you play on the devil's playground and one day the devil will show up. I want to make this quick video regarding K1 Taylor, the young lady that was gunned down in Detroit. When I first saw this article, the first thought came to my mind was that was personal. That was for her. Somebody was after her. She did something to somebody. And then I viewed her Facebook page. She was a party girl. Now, either this was revenge for something she did or, she, or, or someone took it out on her. Something that her boyfriend did, someone took it out on her. But I'm going to let you guys watch the news article on this. This poor woman's final moments were captured on home security cameras. You can see her just running for her life as the gunman keeps firing. We do want to warn you, this video, it's tough to watch. Right in the middle of the day on Rhode Island Avenue near John R. in Highland Park, the video shows the blue SUV pulling up. A man quickly jumps out of the passenger side, firing shots at Kwan Taylor, who was just walking down the street. She screams, running into a backyard. The gunman close behind keeps firing until Kwan is dead. We're told she lives just a few houses down from where the shooting happened. It's a route she walks often, and by the looks of the video, the gunman knew who he was. After police tell Fox 2, no one else was hurt in the barrage of gunfire, but an elderly woman's window was shot out. We talk with friends of K1, who says she's a good person and they can't understand who would do this. Michigan State Police have taken over the investigation. We checked in with them Thursday, and since this happened last Friday, they have not been able to develop a motive, and there's no suspects either. The shooter is still on the loose. Unfortunately, that security footage is pretty grainy, but there was that blue SUV at the scene. If you know anything about this homicide, call police right away. Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News. Now, your friends are going to always think that you are a good person. You're going to always hear them say, like, oh, she was a good person. She was a good soul. I don't understand why somebody would do this to her. Listen, somebody knows. It appears, according to her Facebook page, this girl was well known. She was a party girl. She was a party girl. Okay, so either she did somebody wrong. It could have been over money. It could have been something her boyfriend did and they took it out on her. It could have been a situation, and I'm just speculating. It could have been a situation like you find females that's got only fan pages. And then the guy goes to sleep after they meet up with these dudes and then they rob these dudes. Something happened that made this young dude or these, whoever it was, the gunner down, because it was a young black dude that did that. He was on the passenger side. They were looking for her. It was something she did to somebody to bring that to herself. That's my opinion on it. She's a party girl. If you guys get a chance, find her Facebook page. Check it out. That tells a lot about her. Now, to her friends, she might have been a good person. But the life she lives took her out because all of the videos on her page was in a club, strip clubs. She was a party girl. So she probably brought that energy upon herself. God rest the dead. It's unfortunate, but you reap what you sow. So feedback, tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.